Hey guys, it's Otaku Eldest. Uh, today I wanted to do a guideline tutorial video. Um, like I said, I would earlier in uh, another previous video. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be showing you how to draw the basically the foundation of your manga character's face, uh, not the body. So today it's just face. Um, uh, at the end of the video, I will be putting in time lapse to uh, show you how it all works out and um, how you fill in all those blanks. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, um, you're gonna want to put, you're gonna want to draw a circle, and uh, you can rough sketch that, or you can use a stencil like this. Uh, I usually don't like using stencils because uh, it makes it makes me feel kind of lazy. But I guess you know if you don't have a lot of practice and uh, you really don't have time to do that, um, you can just use a stencil. That is, you know, if you have one around or a compass. But um, speaking of compass, let's put a dot right here in the middle uh, to show where the center, or yeah, where the center of that circle you're going to be rough sketching is. Um, let me switch to a different pencil because that wasn't showing off, showing up. Uh, so the reason why I put a dot here is to help you focus on where your circle is going to be, and. Um, Let's pretend it's the center is connected by a string, or the it, the string is connected to the center, I'm sorry, and the other side of the string is connected to your pencil, sort of like a compass, and you're just going to want to wrap it around. Just imagine that. Uh, so let's uh, rough sketch a circle in here. All right, so now that you have a general circle, it's not going to be perfect, uh, but now that you have a circle, I um, guess that wasn't the true center, was it? Whoops. Oh well. Now I know my aim's a little bit to the right. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, now you're going to want uh, to put in one of the first guidelines, one of the most important ones is that line, that, that classical line that goes straight down the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is going to help uh, separate each side of the face so that uh, you can basically mirror one side to the other. So if you draw something on this side, you can draw it on the right side, um, generally placed in the same area. But there will be ho ho there will be guidelines showing you different places to put it. Okay, so now let's put a guideline right on the bottom of this circle, perpendicular to the first guideline that we drew. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. This is just uh, for placement here. Okay, so now, what I like to do is I like to put in a second guideline a little lower. Um, it's just to make sure that both sides are even. Uh, the more uh, points that you can uh, match up to, to make sure that it's even, the better, I guess. So I'll just put one below that. Okay, so now let's do the sides of the face. Uh, what I like to do is I like to start on the left side and then mirror on the right because the right hand side is my stronger side because I'm right handed I guess. It, it's more awkward to draw like this than it would be to draw like this for me. So let's do that. Left hand first. Well, left side first. And uh, the lines do not go straight down. They take sort of a, a pulled-in angle. I don't know how to describe that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know how to s describe that. It's not straight down, but it's not diagonal. It's more straight down, but it feels like it's, you have like a magnet between these two and it's pulling it inwards. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Okay. So now we're going to indicate where the chin goes. And the chin, uh, depending on if it's male or female, and what their face structure looks like, um, that's where you're going to decide where the chin is. So we're going to put the chin right here. That's a dot. And I'm going to connect right here on these, where the lines intersect, or meet, these two joints, and bring it straight down. It's going to look funny for a few seconds. If you're not, it will it will improve though. Okay, so now 
Now you should have this baseball home plate shape ish and now we're gonna round it off the cheeks that's what I like to do personally you don't have to do this the way that I'm doing it there we go okay so now you should have the cheeks down well, generally uh, let's make the chin more rounded less pointy there we go much better it's, it's looking better already okay so now at that point what I would do not what everybody does but what I would do is I'd put another line above this one parallel to it um, basically to help me align the eyes the this line is gonna let me know where the top of my eye is gonna be so if I the character I'm drawing has really large eyes, it's going to be really high up. But if it's going to, if the person has uh, thinner eyes or smaller eyes, then it's going to be lower down or closer to it. But mine is going to be right around here. And then, of course, what I love to do is I'll put another one very close to this one right there and that is for the ears so all four of these lines should be parallel okay so let's put some more vertical lines in and those are gonna be right here this one is gonna follow up this one basically up to this dot that we first drew here <coughs> Excuse me. And same thing on this side, just mirror it. And now we're going to make some boxes. We're going to complete that right here. And right here. So basically, that is all that you need for the the head. Um, now obviously the neck, um, depending on, well again, if it's female or male, it's uh, the thickness of the neck is going to vary. But for this one it's a male. It's going to have a larger neck. See how the uh, line here makes it easier to mirror it? Obviously nothing's going to be perfect. Excuse me. All right. So, um, I guess I'll go in and then give some pointers uh, when I'm done with everything uh, to tell you uh, what I did. Uh, so yeah, I will kick it into time lapse. So um, <clears throat> that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I just, uh, the pointers, sorry, pointers, almost forgot. Okay, so uh, what was it? <laughs> okay, so you noticed how the uh, boxes that we made in the first place help us line up the eyes um, pretty, pretty well. They're not perfectly placed, but it definitely helps um, to draw those extra lines. Um, um, one more thing, uh, uh, guidelines, remember, they're not, nothing is set in stone. You can always 
twist it and uh, and make uh, make adjustments to uh, what you're drawing because honestly nothing is nothing is going to be perfect and um, if you ever see a way to make it better then go for it I say and uh, yeah so guidelines are important but it's uh, it if it starts affecting the quality of your artwork I guess it, you I wouldn't use them but uh, yeah thank you guys uh, so much for watching I really appreciate uh, whoever watches these videos um, new subscribers and everything and uh, yeah I really enjoy it I really enjoy my audience even though it's small um, it's growing so yeah um, yes please like and uh, subscribe if you didn't hate the video and hopefully I will be back with another one uh, with in I don't know uh, I don't know if I'm going to be having another video before Christmas but if not, I wish you guys all a great, great Christmas. Enjoy your family. And, uh, yeah, I shall return. So, yes, comment. I need some feedback, uh, questions, uh, anybody, requests, what to draw, what to, how, what to show you, and, uh, yeah. So that's about it. Otaku Eldest, out.